Investment Casting Explained, How It Works and Applications Ever wondered how intricately designed rings and jewelry are made? The answer lies in investment casting. Investment casting, also known as lost wax casting, is a manufacturing process that creates highly detailed metal parts by pouring molten metal into a ceramic mold. Unlike die casting, which uses reusable metal molds, investment casting uses single-use ceramic molds. Now let's explore how does investment casting work. It all starts with a wax pattern. Think of it as a temporary model of the final part. This wax replica is created using a metal mold, capturing every fine detail. But instead of making just one part at a time, manufacturers attach multiple wax patterns to a central structure called a sprue. This creates what's known as a wax tree. This allows multiple parts to be cast in a single batch. Now it's time to build the ceramic shell. The entire wax tree is repeatedly dipped into a liquid ceramic slurry and coated with fine sand. Layer by layer, this forms a hard, heat-resistant mold that can withstand molten metal. But what about the wax inside? That's where the dewaxing stage comes in. The ceramic-coated tree is heated, melting away the wax and leaving a perfect hollow mold. This is why investment casting is also called lost wax casting because the wax is completely removed before the metal is poured. Then comes the most exciting part, the metal pour. With the ceramic mold ready, molten metal is carefully poured in, filling every detail of the hollow space. Once it cools, it solidifies into the final shape. After cooling, the ceramic shell is broken away, revealing the newly cast metal parts. The final step is finishing and quality control. The individual parts are cut from the tree and any excess material is removed. Depending on the application, they might go through polishing, machining, or additional treatments to meet precise specifications. So why do manufacturers choose investment casting over other methods? And what are the trade-offs? One of the biggest advantages of investment casting is precision. Unlike sand casting, which often leaves rough surfaces, investment casting produces parts with smooth finishes and incredibly fine details. Almost no post-processing needed. It's also perfect for complex geometries. Internal channels, sharp edges, and intricate designs are tough with other casting methods, but possible with investment casting. Another major advantage is material versatility. This process works with a wide range of metals, including stainless steel, aluminum, titanium, and even high-performance superalloys used in aerospace and medical industries. And let's not forget efficiency. Since multiple parts can be cast at the same time on a single tree, investment casting is great for mass production. But of course, no process is perfect. One of the downsides of this process is time. Investment casting isn't the fastestest method out there. Creating the wax patterns, building the ceramic shell, and waiting for the mold to cure. All these steps add to the production time. Then there's the high tooling and equipment costs. The initial tooling, master pattern, and machinery furnace, ceramic coater, are quite expensive and are not justified for low-volume production. But it may be chosen for specific low-volume manufacturing, like wind turbine blades, if the cost is not the most important consideration for you. And finally, size limitations. While investment casting is perfect for small to medium-sized parts, it's not the best choice for very large components. The ceramic shell can only handle so much weight before it becomes unstable. So how much does investment casting cost? Well, the cost of investment casting depends on three main factors, material, complexity, and production volume. Intricate designs require more wax and ceramic layers, increasing both time and material costs. But when producing parts in large batches, the per unit cost drops significantly, making it an efficient choice for mass production. Compared to sand casting, investment casting costs more upfront, but delivers a superior finish. And while CNC machining can achieve similar precision, it's often more expensive for complex shapes. So if your priority is detail, consistency, and efficiency at scale, investment casting is well worth the investment. However, not every part is suitable for investment casting. The decision ultimately comes down to a careful balance of time, cost, and the advantages and limitations of this process. As for applications, investment casting is widely used for jewelry, art pieces, and sculptures, as well as in industries like aerospace for manufacturing turbine blades, combustion chambers, and engine components, and in the energy sector for producing valves, pipe fittings, and other precision parts. Its versatility extends to many other fields as well. 
If you're not sure which manufacturing process is suited for your project, talk with our expert for detailed consultant. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into manufacturing.